For LaVon Williams, wood carving is a way to carry on a family tradition as well as a cultural one. Figural wood carving has deep roots in African heritage. At the same time, Williams' work has strong connections to modern America, inspired by such influences as city scenes and jazz music. As you hear his story and see his work, think about why Williams calls his wooden sculptures urban folk art. I create wooden sculptures, what I like to call urban folk art. When I was a kid in Florida, there were a lot of wood carvers around. And my brother, to me, is probably one of the best wood carvers I've ever seen. And as a kid, a lot of times, we didn't have like a lot of toys. One didn't have a lot of money to buy toys. And a lot of times it wasn't necessary because my brother, he created a lot of the toys that we played with uh, as far as like wooden cars and, and people. And I remember my brother in Florida, he used to create rocket ships, uh, probably some of the first Apollo rockets he used to carve as a kid. And I became so impressed with that until, until I wanted to learn how to carve also. My father's influence on me artistically was, was through the music because uh, every week he would buy jazz albums and he was in jazz clubs and, and that was his main focus was jazz, jazz, jazz. I went to see a show by August Wilson called A Piano Lesson and I was impressed with, with, that, with that play. And from there, my father loved jazz music and from just listening to the jazz music over and over again until the piano player just popped into my head. It was like I was listening to Thelodious Monk just play, play, play. And just Monk has the long fingers and the long hands and the big feet. And he was a tall man, you know, crunched over the piano. And that was how that piece came about. A lot of wood carvers, they have elements in the work that are representational that, that have certain meaning. Like, for instance, the hands, the hands in the work, it represents uh, uh, those people who work with their hands, those people who are connected to the earth, those people who you know, who are out in the fields and, you know, that is what the large hands represent. I used to, when work first started, I started out real small, compact, and just enough, say, for those who bought it will be able to just put it on a dresser or just put it in their home on the table someplace. But now, as I've been in a lot more galleries, I've done a lot of major shows, I've seen my work, you know, increase. You know, I just seem to get bigger and bigger. Um, and also, I've seen the, the colors become more vivid and vibrant. I think the bigger the place, I think the bigger the space, and this is you know just me thinking out loud, is that I think my colors have become more brilliant just to be seen within a bigger space or a bigger environment, or even to compete for attention with, with other artists within the gallery. When I first started carving, I, 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 I wanted to leave it in the natural. A lot of times I did. And it, you know, it's probably just the personality of the wood or the personality of the figure. It kind of determines, you know, the, the, the colors that I'll use or, or how far I'll go. Some pieces, it just depends on what the piece requires a lot of times. You know, lately, uh, my work's become more vivid. You know, the colors have become more lively. I think because as I get older, I understand color a lot more. And so I, my colors have become more brilliant. And I have a different selection of colors that I haven't even, I've never used before that lately I start to use. What wood carving gives me, that I give back to the community, it is, it is a sense of culture to pass on, you know, uh, things that, that our ancestors had, like there were wood carvers in, in, in Africa and they're, you know, they brought the same processes to America. And I, I feel like I'm like in a line of people who carry on on the process of, uh, of creating out of wood. Uh, it just gives me probably of a, a a connection to the past.